One of the most hardest hit areas is expected to be Yuba County, so we're tracking that for you. Expected to get lots of rain in the next few days. Our team coverage on this powerful storm continuing now with your reporter covering Yuba County, Kayla Muller, joining us live with what people there are doing. I'm sure they're busy, Kayla. Yeah, Marley, that's right. I was out in Yuba County here yesterday doing storm preparation, and it was dry, but now the storm is here. It's very wet. There's a whole lot of water pooling up against my feet, and the storm prep continues. We've been here since 1852, so we've been through a few floods. This roof coating you can put on in. This hardware store is fifth generation family owned. They've been providing rain gear for Yuba County residents for 172 years, and this year has been no different. The big massive ones were all gone. They're getting sand, but most people I think are getting, they're worried about the roofs. For me, it was unexpected. The wife called me and told me that the skylight's leaking around the kitchen, so I had to get off work early to go take care of it real quick. Caltrans has activated their storm patrol. One team will cover both Yuba and Sutter counties in two 24-hour shifts. During those shifts, the uh, maintenance preventative is clearing our culverts, making sure any of the trees that are dropped, we're picking up all of those um, limbs that are falling into the roadways, um, checking our pump plant. I think it's good for the environment, but like honestly, it floods a lot, so it can be dangerous. This mom and daughter say the rain is much needed in this area, but they're visiting the store today to gather supplies to protect their home. We're double checking the drains and the gutters and all the street access. Everybody's preparing for it. Everybody's now finding all the leaks and the roofs. Everybody, my parents and all the neighbors around them were getting ready a couple days in advance, cleaning out gutters. Yeah, the word around here today has been prepare. Yuba County is known for localized flooding, so Caltrans is asking for the community's help, if anybody sees anything that might be dangerous, they urge you to report it to their customer service request line. So, Kayla, you're our reporter covering Yuba County. You know it very well, so we have to ask you about the Hotel Marysville. Are they worried about that structure or what's left of it during the storm? Uh, yes, the answer is yes, Tony. I'm actually standing near it. So, the top two floors are what are at risk of collapsing, according to an engineering report obtained by the city of Marysville. But that debris fence is still up in place right now, should anything happen. But the other thing that they are worried about are toxicities like asbestos. But I did reach out to the city manager. I'm going to have Ralph zoom in here. If you can see those, they're, what, they're called wattles. And they put those in around the drains uh, to prevent any material from going down there. It's also for erosion erosion control. The city manager also says uh, that they will have a bid here for demolition soon. Yeah, can understand the concerns around a structure that's already compromised. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Kayla.